I'm paddling my machine, my sewing machine right now. It's just not responding. I'm only having the wheel responding to my paddle, but uh, the needle is just standing still. So uh, this seems to be a major issue because I have to work right now. So um, I'm going to teach you in case you find yourself in a similar situation like this. You need to be panicked. Here is a simple way. Maybe uh, something just went wrong with uh, the knot over here. So I will show you how you can loosen it and check what went wrong inside. So first of all, we will get our regular screwdriver. This little one here. So, um, let's just check it out. First of all, we take off this that small knot here. It's off. So we're using the belt of the sewing machine. And then we take off this bigger knot. It seems to be losing already. So this is the cause of it. I think something just happened with this key because this key is what usually lock this wheel together with the knot so i think something maybe it shifted like this that's why it was running freely so you are going to be placing it properly here make sure it's balanced now the proper way you place this thing if you look at it here you see the way it is you are going to be turning it this side you see it's properly balanced when it's, when it's placed like this, it's not going to lock really well. So you place it like this. Okay? That's how you do it. Okay. So as I've properly placed it right now, so I'll, I'm going to be tightening the knots back on. Okay? That which I've done so. So I'm going to be locking it properly this time using uh, some little chisel right now. So because as I use my hand and tighten it, it's not really tight. If I pull back my belt, this thing is not really tight. It needs a little chisel to properly tight. So just chisel it a little. So I think it's properly tight. Now let's try it and see if what it did. Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, my same machine is moving properly and ready for me to work with it. Okay? So.